Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany and today we're going to be making chocolate covered strawberries. I'm going to give you some tips on dipping your strawberries as well as some nice decorations and designs like how to marble the strawberries, how to add a drizzle, how to add some metallics with edible gold and silver leaf, and how to add some shimmer with edible powders. And in order to get started, here are the supplies that you'll need. Toothpicks, strawberries, of course, some distilled white vinegar for cleaning your strawberries, some paper towels and a sieve or strainer to assist you in cleaning your strawberries, some food safe gloves, a variety of candy melts and chocolate. Today I'm going to be using dark chocolate. This is compound, so I don't need to temper it. You could also use couverture, but you have to make sure it's tempered. And then I'm just going to be using candy melts to make things easy, but you can also use white chocolate that's been tempered or a compound white chocolate and color it yourself. But I find that using candy melts is pretty easy to do. Some silicone or plastic cups for melting your chocolate. These silicone cups are awesome for melting chocolate. You don't want to melt chocolate in glass because it will retain heat and it could burn your chocolate. But I do also want some bowls and these are nice deep bowls that allow me to dip the strawberries really nicely. A sheet tray and piece of parchment paper for placing your dipped strawberries on. Some parchment paper piping bags. Click the video above to see how to make these yourself. And some decorations. I have a variety of things here. I have some pinkish red and some silver sprinkles, some edible silver and gold powders, along with edible pink shimmer powder and white pearl dust. And I like to use this palette to mix my metallic paints in and also dip my powders from. And then I use the lemon extract to mix the paints. And then I also have some edible gold and silver leaf. And just a reminder that all the supplies that I'll be using today will be linked down in the description box. So the first step is to clean your strawberries. I've put three cups of water into a bowl and I'm going to add a half cup of the distilled white vinegar. and then just put your strawberries in. And I'm going to let them soak for about five to 10 minutes. So it's been about 10 minutes and I'm going to lay down about three layers of paper towel. And I'm just going to strain the strawberries and lay them out on the paper towel to dry completely before I can dip them. And you can speed up the process a little bit by giving them a little pat as well. Now after the strawberries have dried for a little while, I'm going to finish preparing them by putting toothpicks in each of them. This really helps um, dip them and protect the stems. And then before I lay them on the sheet tray ready for dipping, I'm going to give them one last nice dry with a paper towel just to make sure. I'm just sticking the toothpick right into the top of the stem. Now, once each of the strawberries are completely dry and they have toothpicks in them, they're ready to dip. But first I need to melt some chocolate. 
So I'm using this compound chocolate. It's Van Leer Dark Chocolate Snaps. And I'm going to use this silicone cup to protect the chocolate from overheating. I'm going to heat it for about 30 seconds at a time in the microwave, stirring in between and just until it's smooth. So my dark chocolate is all melted and smooth and I'm going to transfer it into this deep glass bowl so that I can easily dip the strawberries. And I'll just start by dipping a couple rows into dark chocolate and they'll be decorated later. So I like to grab the strawberry and make sure the stem is up towards the toothpick so it doesn't get stuck in the chocolate. Give it a nice good dip. And I like to shake it off a little bit to get rid of any excess chocolate. And I give it a gentle swipe on the edge and back to the parchment paper. And when you dip, you want to go as close to the stem as you can, because the more chocolate, the better, without getting the stem caught in the chocolate, in case someone accidentally eats it, which is fine. <laughs> it just might not taste very good. And if your bowl isn't quite deep enough, you can tilt the strawberry a little. So you want to do the marble last because you're going to be mixing chocolates. So for now, I'll set aside the dark chocolate and I'm going to melt some white candy melts. Now again, I'm just going to move my melted white candy melts to a glass bowl for easy dipping. And dipping them the exact same way, I'm going to do a handful of these strawberries into the white. Now, while I have both white and dark chocolate out, I'm going to show you how to marble. I did have to rewarm the dark chocolate and I just do that in the microwave for like 10 seconds to 15 seconds at a time on power level five, just to make sure I don't burn it. So to do marble, this is going to be dark and white. I'm going to take a little spoonful of the white and drizzle it into the dark and you can go both ways and then grab your strawberry and do the stem and then dip it in the same way straight down and you can turn it if you need to. And then on the way up, you're going to spin it. Like that. And shake off a little extra. A gentle wipe. Back on the sheet tray. And then before you do the next one, you'll just do a little more drizzle, just in case.
Okay, so for now I'm done with the dark chocolate. And the next marble I want to do is white with pink drizzle. All right, so I'm just going to do this the same way as the white and dark chocolate. Drizzle in some pink. Now my last couple strawberries, I want to do light pink, so I'm just going to stir in the dark pink into the white to make a light pink. And it's not as dark as I want, so I'll just add a little bit more. And you can just use light pink candy melts, but um, since this is already mixed, I'm just turning it into light pink. And then once all the strawberries are set up, it's time for the fun part, decorating. So the first decoration I'm going to do will be a drizzle while I have my melted chocolate out. So I'm just going to pour that into my parchment bag and then cut the tip. I'm going to test the drizzle. To get a good drizzle you want it to be really nice and thin and the chocolate needs to be warm not kind of set up so if you need to rewarm it do that and then just going to hold the strawberry and do a nice thin drizzle like that. You can mess around with color combinations. You can do more than one color drizzle as well if you like that look. And then on the rest of these, I'm going to use a light pink drizzle. So this next design is also going to be done while I still have my piping bags full of chocolate out. And it's going to be combined with some shimmer powder. So I'm basically going to pipe a border of some sort. And you can do simple one like take the chocolate and just go back and forth in a line. You can do something like this. You can do something cute like hearts. Actually, I'll start in the middle by doing a dot and then pulling down. Now once they're dry, you can take some loose powder and a brush and dust it right on to make things shimmery. So then to add some edible leaf, I like to take a little bit of lemon extract and get 
your leaf ready. I paint on a little bit of extract where I want the leaf to go because it helps attract the leaf to stick to the chocolate. And I use tweezers to pick up some and just set it where I want it. And then a little more over here. the lemon's a little dry you can either pat it down flat but I kind of like it when it's hanging off to add some texture so I'll leave it like that you can do the same thing with the silver And then the last thing you can do if you like this look is mix up some edible paint. So you just take some of your powder and add some lemon extract to make it liquid. And you can go along the marble and kind of following the lines, add some metallic. And once all your strawberries are decorated, pick out your favorite ones and just move them onto it and pull out the toothpick and they're ready to serve. All right, here are all the chocolate covered strawberries all finished and decorated. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and that you found it helpful. If you did, please give me a like down below. It helps me out a lot. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, today's the day. And if you'd like to see how to make a chocolate dipped strawberry bouquet, click on this video. If you'd like to see a fun way to present your chocolate dipped strawberry using a breakable chocolate heart, click on this video. Thanks so much for watching today and I'll see you soon. Bye.